today's style, you're gonna need two different types of rollers. To start off, you're gonna wanna use the smallest of the two rollers. I'm gonna be using Anna's snap-on rollers. You wanna make sure that the roller that you're using is not so small that it will create ringlets, but also not so large that you won't get any curl at all. The rollers that I'm using today are about an inch and a half wide and are perfect for my limp now. I get to roll it up about six times as you can see there before I actually pin it down. You'll want to make sure that you're rolling your hair nice and tight to eliminate any additional curl or wave at the top. If you'd like more detailed instructions on how I'm rolling my hair today, you can check out my video on how to achieve the perfect roller set in the link below. So you'll want to roll your entire head nice and tight. And once you're done, you'll sit under the dryer until completely dry. Whew, that was hot. These are my results. You'll want your curls loose enough that you can manage for the next step, but also tight enough to add some additional body for when you begin to roll. So again, I'm starting by pinning back the sides and I'm gonna start in the center again. You'll wanna take the first section, as you can see here, and you're gonna start brushing out the curl. And I brush my curl up in the direction which I'm going to roll. So you can already see it formulating into a more straighter pattern. And I'm taking a bigger roller, this one about two inches wide, and I'm going to firmly pin it down. These rollers have Velcro type grips, so it makes it really easy to grab any additional hair and help to straighten those curly roots. So getting a little closer to show you all, I'm adding a lot of tension at the tip so I can have straighter roots for the finished product. And once I come down, I'm pinning it firmly. For those of you wondering, I got these rollers from Forever 21. They have a Velcro feel to them that makes it really easy to roll your hair. I will put the link for them in the bio. So since this is the second time we're rolling our hair, there are a few things that you wanna make sure you're doing. First, you wanna make sure you're adding tension as you roll each curl. This is gonna help with the overall straight look. Secondly, you wanna make sure that you're getting most of those roots that weren't so straight during the first time you rolled your hair. And lastly, this is your final time to add additional moisture while your hair is in rollers. I find that it's better to add moisturizer during the roller process as opposed to after because then you risk having an oily, greasy, way down type of look. As stated before, the rollers I'm using are about 2 inches wide, but the size you use will greatly depend on the length of your hair. Remember, we're going for straight, so the longer the hair, the bigger the roller. Now it's time for the dryer. You don't have to sit under there as long since you're already dry. I sat under for about 20 minutes. Voila! There goes a curl, and there goes all of the curls. As you can tell, my roots are still a little wavy, but don't worry, we'll fix that very soon. So you're going to want to take a bristle brush, or some would say a wig brush, and begin to wrap your hair all the way around. This is your opportunity to brush out any additional waves or curls that may be in your roots. So you'll want to make sure that you get it as tight, smooth, and neat as possible. This is where the moisturizer really comes into play. As you can see, because my hair is a little oily, it's helping to hold the hair together and not fall apart. So add moisture, your wrap will thank you. And once you look like Slick Willie, you are all done, almost. So now you're gonna to wanna to take plastic wrap. Yep, you heard right, plastic wrap. And you're gonna start wrapping it around your hair. It's going to be a little confusing at first just to get it to stick, but once you get the hang of it, you can use this triangular diamond shaped motion to easily continue to wrap it around. You can imagine you're making a plastic cap, so you'll want to wrap it around for a fair amount of time just to make sure that the hair is nice and sealed in. If you've left a piece out, as you can see I've done at the top, you'll want to add additional saran wrap to make sure all of the hair is covered before you go back under the dryer. So I sat under the dryer for 10 minutes and now it's time to take off the plastic cap. You'll want to make sure you're twisting it off in the same direction in which you wrapped your hair. It just helps you not mess up your wrap. Look at that dried up cap. 
And now you'll want to start unwrapping your hair using the same brush. I try to unwrap the hair in the same direction in which it was wrapped just to keep the natural flow of the hair. I don't know if you can tell from the camera, but my roots are already a bit straighter and my hair has an additional shine to it. At this point, it's up to you to play, brush, and style your hair as desired. If you don't wrap it at night and sleep with a satin cap, then most likely you'll have big body waves for the first day. And there we have it, straight hair for all of my naturalistas who want the straight look without the heat damage. I hope you enjoyed this video and be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thanks again for watching and until next time, the Glamazon.